Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi and today we are going to see a new topic and the name for the topic is Central Limit Theorem. So today we are going to see that basically what is a Central Limit Theorem and basically what statement do we have, what, for, what formulas we have in the Central Limit Theorem and then we will just see some questions related to this, fine. So this is for this video for now. Okay, so uh, I would just let, like... Uh, I will just tell you one thing that basically in the last video I have already completed all the questions for the statistics which we were taking. Okay, so that are already completed in the last video. So from now we'll resume our topics for studies and after some topics, somewhat 10 to 15 topics are again completed. Then we will again come with the questions for statistics that we were just solving previously. Fine. So let's get started with the thing. So we are going to see that what is central limit theorem. So I would just today for now I would just like uh, write some things and uh, explain you the formulas. Fine. Okay, let's say I just say, suppose x is a random variable, x is a random variable, okay, x is a random variable with a distribution of, okay, so I would just like to erase it and I would just write it here, with a distribution of, okay, so I'm just writing here, suppose x is a random variable with a distribution that may be that may be known or unknown right that may be uh, known or unknown so for now what i have just written i have just written very a very simple line here and that is suppose x is a random variable now you all know that basically what is random variable right we have just already covered this topic in a very detail and even had taken some examples some questions on this topic that is random variable so we have seen that basically what is a random variable let me quickly give you a hint that basically we did just denote the random variables using the capital x right so uh, this is a, like a very common denotion for the random variables even we just like um, you can denote them using capital Y, capital Z also, but capital X is the very uh, common denotion for random variables. Fine. Here I have just written one line. It suppose X is random variable with a distribution that may be known or unknown. So here what I am taking, I am taking a random variable that is X. And for that, what I am just saying that uh, uh, like uh, I have taken a random variable X and its distribution. And basically we uh, like there is there are two cases we can know the distribution and we like do not know the distribution right so that i have written that may be known or unknown it is like we are familiar with that or we are not familiar with that these are the two cases now what i am just going to write i'm just going to denote some symbols here right so now what is this mu x as like uh, what is this mu x so this is the mean right mean for my variable mean for the x which we have taken right now that is x it is the mean so I would just write here the mean of capital X, not the small one. So just let me write that. Okay. So mu x is the mean for the capital S. Now, now same similar, I would just write here a sigma x. Now, what does the sigma x mean? The sigma x is the standard deviation, right? So the standard standard deviation. Okay. Of x. Fine. So, what is the mean and what is the standard deviation? With we are just familiar with these two terms also about the mean and standard deviation. We have already seen these things. And if you just want to have a review of all these things, you can just go and watch the videos for the random variables, even for the mean and the standard deviation. But that basically, what are the formulas? What are these terms? And how do you just find that thing? Right. Now, for now, I have written suppose x is a random variable with a distribution that may be known or unknown. So mu x is equal to the mean of x and sigma x is equal to standard deviation of x. Now, if I just draw a random variable here, okay, random sample. If I draw a random sample of size n, okay, so basically we always denote the size from n, right? n is a common, uh, like common denotion, you can just say, we just like uh, write that size as n, okay? So if I uh, like, uh, okay, so if in place of R, I need to just write I, let me raise that thing and let me quickly take the same color. So for here, I'm just writing you. If you draw a random sample of size N, okay, then as N increases, as the value which you have like taken for N, as this the value for N increases, the random variable 
x bar which consists of the random variable x bar which consists of sample means which consists of sample means to be normally distributed fine to be normally distributed now here what i have written this let me quickly explain you that thing because after this i'm just going to write one formula right this side fine so here what i have written if you draw a random sample of size n right we can just take a random sample of any size right so i just i just suppose that size to be n if you draw a random sample of size n then as n increases the random variable x bar which consists of sample means to be normally distributed and x bar is approximately equal to n times and the, this n time is the size even and here what i would just write i would just write mu x mu x the was a value for the mean of x right mu x comma sigma x upon under root of n just let me go down so mu x so x bar is approximately equal to n in bracket it is mu x comma sigma x upon under root of small n small n is the size of the like uh, random random size right the size of the random sample which we have taken so if you draw a random sample of size n then as n increases random variable x bar which consists of sample means to be normally distributed and x bar is approximately equal to n and bracket mu x comma sigma x upon root n now what's the statement for the central limit theorem which is our today's topic so what do my central limit theorem says so i would just for uh, like wait for a second i would just erase this thing right now and i would just like take a different color that was why only fine so i would just write here as what my central limit theorem says to me now so i would just write central limit theorem okay so let me again go down and like get me some space this side okay so my central limit uh, theorem for sample mean says that so this is the uh, like whole statement for central limit theorem now just keep this thing in mind and pay a more attention towards this thing so central limit theorem for sample means for sample means says that if you if you keep if you keep drawing okay it says if you keep drawing larger and larger samples larger and larger samples so it says central limit theorem for sample means say that if you keep drawing larger and larger samples then what will happen so basically and calculating and calculating their mean so it is saying that if we just keep drawing larger and larger samples and you just keep calculating their mean so just let me erase this thing m e a n fine let me go down so if you just like uh, keep drawing larger and larger samples and calculating their means the sample mean which you have taken okay the sample mean forms their own normal distribution so this is the statement for central limit theorem that if you keep drawing larger and larger samples and calculating their mean the sample mean forms their own normal distribution okay so sample means which we are taking let let's say we just take an example and in that you have just like taken many sample means right so if you just draw larger and larger samples and if you just take larger samples and if you just calculate their mean so the sample mean which is coming it will form its own normal distribution so this is the basic statement like main statement for the central limit theorem and we have like some uh, formulas here so the uh, z, z score for this capital x that is equal to so if you just want to find the z score what we will find the formula is x bar minus mu of x now i'm not going to repeat that what does this x bar means what does this mx means i'm not going to do that thing fine so x bar minus mu x and here i would just write sigma x upon under root of n fine so this is the formula for that z score for finding the z score and what else i have here is what is this mu x okay 
so i would just write mu x uh, is both the average mu x is the average of x and x bar okay so mu x is the average for x, uh, x and x bar for both of these things and even i have some separate formulas also here so let me just write that thing also i would just write here sigma x bar okay sigma x bar is equal to sigma x upon under root of n fine so this is standard deviation now one more important point to cite that the standard deviation okay standard deviation of x bar is called standard error of mean is called a standard deviation of x bar is called standard error and let me go down of mean so here we are just introduced to one more new term the standard deviation for x bar is called standard error of mean fine so this was about the central limit theorem now what does my central limit theorem says central limit theorem says that for a sample mean says okay uh, central limit theorem for sample means says if you want to keep uh, keep drawing larger and larger samples and calculating their mean the sample mean for their own normal distribution is z, z square is equal to x bar minus mu x upon sigma x divided by root f now we have just two types of central limit theorem the first one is the uh, is for the mean and the second one is for sum so for the sum or uh, sum also we have another central limit theorem we'll discuss about that in the further videos but for now the central limit theorem is for the sample mean so this is the whole statement for the central limit theorem and these are the formulas which you just keep in mind and in the next video basically we'll just solve a question for the central limit theorem fine so this is all for this video till then thank you and Bye-bye.